Hello Blogineers, today we're going to unbox another Mel Physics kit, and this one is on Reflections. If this looks interesting to you, you can purchase it at the link in the description. Alright, so today we're going to be experimenting with mirror images in numbers, one-way mirrors, and infinity tunnels. The back of the set shows what the set contains. It contains quite a bit. It also shows the three experiments and how long they take. So it's 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and 20 minutes. And now it's time to open this up. And open. Okay, so there is a sheet. I don't know what this is for. There's also cardboard. This is interesting. Um, all right, here are the three experiment um, book pamphlets or whatever. We get these in every set. So they basically have step-by-step -step instructions for the three experiments. And there's this Oh, pamphlet. and then attached to the third one is what we'll probably use to make the infinity tunnel. No, 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 it has a number one. That means that it's the first experiment. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, never mind. This just it got just stuck got on stuck. accident. Okay, so, no, sorry, sorry. The number one means that this goes with the first experiment, so it'll be this one. There's a number two over here, which will be used for the one-way mirror, I guess. Uh, and then the number three will be used for the infinity tunnel. There's also a QR code for the Mel Physics app if you want to check that out. There's also some wood pieces. There's also a, what is this called? A That's a pa clip. Oh, paper clip, paper clip. Clothespin. I mean clothespin. Uh, instruction booklet for, this also contains like safety instructions and everything. Oh, wait, 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 wait. one more thing. What is this? Whoa, I don't know what this is. Okay, and that is the unboxing, so let's go straight into experiment number one. We're gonna start now with the first activity. It's called Mirror Images in Numbers. The difficulty is one out of three, and danger is actually three out of three, and I think it's because we'll be working with batteries. So for all three activities in this set, you're going to need this coin battery. Um, and then the safety, basically, even though the danger is three out of three, it's mainly because we're working with batteries. So as long as we're careful with this, we should be fine. Okay, so step number one, connect the LED to the battery and use it as a light source. When these connect, you're not, don't touch Wait, the metal, so, okay? Or else you might get electrocuted. Wait, so let's connect plus, this is minus. Uh -huh. So the longer side it, okay, this is fine. Okay, wait, as soon as I connect it, this thing is gonna light up. And when it lights up, then we cannot touch it, right? Okay. Uh -huh, wait, wrong side. Wait, the don't, longer don't side goes to the plus. Okay, so you can see it's lighting up. Okay, so that's the main point. Okay, so now we're gonna construct the actual mirrors. There we go, we have a... I can see myself in this mirror. That's funny. <laughs> you can probably see the camera now. <laughs> and we put them on the stand. Okay. Now step three, let the games begin. So see the number of reflections changes depending on the angle oh, between yes. the mirrors. So if you go to my direction, from this point, you can see the reflection once. But if I move this to here, then you can see it twice com combined. If I move it to here, if I move it to like here, you can see it like three times from my angle. So basically, yeah. this the purpose of this is to teach you that depending on how you position the mirrors, you're able to see the lights like multiple times. The next project is one-way mirror. One-way mirror. This is the one I'm looking forward to the most. Mm -hmm, me too. Of course, the danger is three out of three again because we'll be using batteries. And the difficulty is two out of three this time because we might be constructing some stuff. Okay, let's do step number one. 
build a model of an observation room. And now we got a nice little box. <laughs> okay, so step two. Okay, so over here we have the one-way mirrors and the cat stickers. Why are they cat stickers? I would never know. But they look cool either way. I like cats, wild cats. I don't like cats. I like wild cats. They're cool. <laughs> so either way, yeah. Put this cat sticker over there okay and these cats don't do anything magical they're just like markers like indications probably on the orange cat side maybe you can see through and on the other side you can't i don't know there we go this is kind of our view and it's time to close the doors next separate the good guys from the bad guys with a mirror just like in the movies. The bad guys are... Which one is the good guy and which one's the bad guy? Here, to go. Wait, which yeah. side had it? It's this side. Wait, but they're both... They're both... Well, that side has... I can see both ways, though. Okay, so here. Let's insert it through here. So we're going to stick this through the bad guy side. Oh, okay, so okay. when I stick it through like this... Ooh, this this just stays perfectly. Okay, then we look through the good guy side. And what do you see? Whoa, you see the other end actually. You you can see the the orange the, I mean the cat on the other side. Really? Yeah, see? And now yeah. we're going to put the thing on the uh, through that, the good guy side. The good guy? Oh. And I think we're going to see the good guy cat. The orange cat. Yeah. Are we supposed to be oh, yeah. calling it the bad guy cat and the good guy cat? I don't know. What do you see now? What color? Orange. Wow. Orange guy. Wow. So now, oh my goodness, you're right. You know what? I I wish we had like a like a huge one way mirror. That would be so cool. So that is basically one way mirror. I did actually find that to be very fun, although I was expecting the mirror to already be like one way, but no. Um, the only way that this mirror is one way is when you put a light. It's time for the final project. It's called the Infinity Tunnel. Uh, this looks really cool. The difficulty is one out of three. Again, the danger is three out of three because we're gonna be using the batteries again. Okay, okay so the first step, uh, is to put it together. Okay, yes. We put it together. And now we have this thing which has lit up. There we go. Okay, and then I think we're supposed to do it on the other side too? No? No, yeah, the other yeah, side too. so it's infinity. Oh my, yes, I see that. Ooh, oh my. This is, um, okay, so this is the final infinity mirror. Hello, I'm recording from over here. So this is the infinity mirror. This is when you, whoa, look. Dang, that's, that's so infinity. When you use the transparent mirror for one of the sides, it's not as cool. Because it fades away. But when you have, when you don't use the transparent mirror, when you just use the two solid mirrors or whatever they're called, then you really get the infinity effect. <sighs> oh, you can see my eye. Look, wait, can, can they see my eye? Maybe not. <laughs> Guess what? We found a switch to this <laughs> infinity mirror. There's this black thingy over here. That's and so it's a tiny. switch. Ready? It's a set. Switch. <laughs> Whoa. And I can switch it off. There we go. Time for final thoughts. Rather, which one was your favorite? Infinity, one way, mirror, or the first one. I like all of them. Really? Uh -huh. I like the second and the third because the, the first one was fine, but you have to like manually move the mirror and it's just like it's just a mirror but the second one was cool because you got that one-way mirror effect which i've always wanted to experiment with and this one i i mean it's it's just an infinity mirror but it was more than i expected because first of all 
You get to assemble the whole thing, like the light is literally trapped inside the two mirrors. And that's all. If you like this, you can purchase it at the link in the description. And bye bye.